Hi everyone, Miss Slocum here. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create this really cool two-point perspective city block drawing. So in order to complete this drawing, you are definitely going to need a ruler, especially since I'm going to be referring to some different inch points. To begin, I'm going to create a 10 inch line in the middle of my paper. And I want that 10 inch line to be floating in the middle, meaning I don't want it to be attached to the left or the right. So you'll see I'm going to try and make it parallel to the top and the bottom and put my line in the center of the page. When I'm done that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a dot on either side of this line and I'm going to label them V1 and V2 and that stands for vanishing point 1 and vanishing point 2. Since we're doing two point perspective, there's going to be two vanishing points in this image. My next step is to decide where I want that center of my block to be. So I like to not put it dead center because that makes it a little boring. So I'm going to move a little over to the left. I'm going to do mine at the four inch mark. So right now I have three dots and one line. The next thing I'm going to do is turn my ruler perpendicular and I'm going to line it up right to that dot I did on the four inch mark. And I'm going to create a five inch line. That five inch line I want to have three inches on the top and two inches on the bottom. So once I get that lined up, I'm going to try and make it parallel to the left and the right and then I will draw that line along my ruler so it's intersecting right through that dot. To finish off this line, I'm going to do a dot at the top and the bottom, so that should be at the zero inch and the five inch mark. And I'm going to use my pencil to add dots at every other inch marker. So that should be at the three, the four, and the one that still need marked areas. So now these dots should all be one inch apart. My next step is using my ruler to attach all of these dots I just created to my vanishing points. So I'm going to start with vanishing point one, which is on the left, and I'm going to attach it to the top dot, the second dot, and I'm going to continue my way down until all of these dots are attached. My center line is already connected because that's the line that we started with. I'm going to speed this next part up, so feel free to pause, rewind if you need anything repeated, or you're just a little unsure about what we've done up to this point. When you're finished with this step, you should have what looks like a sideways diamond with lots of lines inside. If you're following along with the step-by-step -step packet, we're now moving to page two. Now it's time to start forming our buildings. So what I'm going to do is I want to measure out from that center line I have and I'm going to go about 1.5 inches. Now I could do 1.5 on the other side as well, but I think I want my building to be a little more narrow on the left, so I'm only going to do it at 1 inch. And then I want to turn my ruler and make sure it's parallel to the center and I'm going to draw either side of that corner building. When you're done with your first building, it's time to move on to our buildings that are a little bit further away. Now when you're drawing with perspective, it's important to show that things are getting smaller and closer together as they get further. For my next building, I'm going to make it slightly more narrow than my first one. I'm not going to measure this one out, I'm just going to eyeball it just to make sure it's a little bit thinner than that first corner building I did. And the closer I get to my vanishing point, the more narrow my buildings are going to be. It's important here not to get too thin too fast or you're going to get a lot of really, really skinny buildings and it's not going to look quite right. So just take it down a little bit each time, just a little bit more narrow each step closer you make towards that vanishing point. And when I'm done framing out my buildings that attach to vanishing point two, I'm moving over to the left side and I'm going to create some buildings that attach to vanishing point one. Now these buildings don't have to be the same measurements as the ones on the right because we're looking at this city block from a completely different viewpoint now. It's almost like we're looking down a different city street, meaning that they're not attached to the other side. What we're going to do next is start sizing out our buildings because right now they're all the exact same height and cities don't work that way. Because of the way we've drawn this, this should actually be pretty simple. 
Right now you want to imagine that all of your buildings are five stories tall. You'll see you have those five different shapes in there. So in order to change the height of your buildings, you're just going to take one story off, two stories off, however many stories you want to take off of each building. It's good to get a lot of variety in here. The more variety you have in your building sizes, the more interesting your final piece is going to turn out. To make this a little easier on myself, I usually like to darken the top point of my building with my pencil, just so I know where all of the different heights are going to end up. So I'm gonna go all the way down here with this one. Uh, maybe I'll make this one four stories. I'll do another five story. And you'll see I'm changing it up as I go down. It helps to darken that final skyline once you're finished. Now, to help with any confusion, you always want to go in and erase all of these extra lines that we have there. When I'm done, I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, but I'm going to choose different building heights. The only building that has to match is the one that you're doing. Oh, we have a visitor. This is my cat, Kylo. I guess he wants to draw too. All right, buddy. <laughs> so as I was saying, uh, the only building that has to match on both sides is that center building because it is attached. All of your other buildings could be completely different heights from the other side. So maybe this one will be three stories. And then I will do my next building. I guess will be another five story building. And you're going to carry that down all the way to your vanishing point one. Now let's say you want a building that's taller than five stories. To do that, you're gonna create a line that attaches to the vanishing point, but I'm only gonna draw a little bit of it, just above the building I want to be taller. And I can connect it up, erase my excess, and you'll see that I now have a building that's taller than five stories. This is a six story building, so you can do this to any of them that you want to be taller. Once you're done changing the height of all of your buildings and have a nice dark defining line, around the final skyline you are actually finished for today i don't want to throw too much at you in one session especially since we did go over a lot today and this is brand new material okay i hope you guys got through this without too much trouble and i'm going to upload the second part of this video next week so we can finish this drawing together thanks for drawing with me today i hope you guys enjoyed and i will talk to you next week Bye-bye.